Welcome to my Q and A video. It's really hard not to. It's really hard not to look at the screen because it's like, damn, it's looking real nice, looking real cute, feeling real cute. Anyways, so let's get down to business. Right now I'm wearing extensions. I was like forgetting how freaking awesome it feels to wear extensions. Like, damn. And I did cut my hair too, so it's like, it was like really short. Anyways, moving on to the Q&A. I posted on Instagram for you guys to ask me some questions, and you guys did, and I'm really happy about it because now I get to make this video. Um, so let's just get right into it. The first question is, what energizes you to do what you do? I would have to say that my passion energizes me. Taking my space and my time energizes me. Knowing exactly what it is. Like you can tell a lot of how I'm feeling by the vibe that I'm giving off. Like right now you can tell I'm feeling pretty damn good because I'm feeling it, you know. Like, <laughs> uh, so I take a lot of space for myself. I take a lot of time for myself. I try to preserve as much of my energy in my space as I possibly can because I need that for myself, you know. Like... If I can't have my space or my time, then it's like, I feel drained. I feel like I can't be creative. And that's a really like terrible place for me to be. So I make sure that I take as much time as I need for myself to be able to create content. I have taken a big break off of social media for like, I don't know, a month or so. But, you know, I've taken the steps that I've needed to, to nurture myself and to be here to give you guys this Q&A. And I mean, like, this is my first time getting involved with like videos and stuff. I mean, I did make like a few different vlogs back in 2016, I think. So now I'm like, in a completely different spot. Well, not completely different spot, but I mean, like, I've grown a lot, right? So, I guess you could say that. Um, so, taking my time, taking my space, nurturing myself, making sure that I'm listening to myself, making sure that I'm doing the things that I need to do for myself. Like, if I feel like I can't be too giving at the time, like, with my social scenes, um, then I take my time. I read a lot. I like baths. I'm a Pisces, so like I kind of go with the flow. You know, if you are a Pisces, you if you're a Pisces, you know exactly what I'm talking about. So like, I get into myself, and it's very important for me to do that. It's meditating, you know, stuff like that. Praying. What made you become a DJ? What made me come, what made me, <laughs> what made me become a DJ is, um, went to a music festival. This was before I was like into EDM music and it was Motion Ocean and it was my first time experiencing that kind of a scene. I didn't even know what to do. Like I literally was like sitting in the vehicle thinking, oh shit. I gotta get out and like go meet people. <laughs> so it was like a very new experience, new environment for me. And I was sitting there listening in with my earbuds at a stage and I had heard Stylus Beats, Blotter Acid, remixed. Honest to God, I was like, wow, this is amazing. Like the sound in that production was like crazy and it was like a hip hop style, but like still like, oh, it just, when you listen to it, when you listen to the sounds and how it was created, it was absolutely beautiful. 
that's what inspired me to be a DJ, Stylist Beats, because I listened to his grassroots mixtape when it came out. I was like, wow, this guy is amazing. I loved that one. I loved the sounds. I loved how he did it. And I was automatically a big fan. I was like, okay, so this guy is somebody that I really respect. This is somebody who inspires me to do, to want to be a DJ. So that's what made me want to be a DJ, you know? I love music. I love dancing. I am... I just love to be around that kind of stuff. I love to make people dance. I, the way that I feel when I dance is what I want to put in people, if that makes sense. Like, when I am dancing at a show and the feelings that I get from it, I just want to make people feel good. I want to make people feel happy. I want to make them feel like they're even closer to themselves on the dance floor than anything because I know exactly, that is exactly how I feel. I feel so, so at home when I'm dancing. So I guess it's like a mixture of those things. Um, what is the meaning of life? The meaning of life, guys, listen here, listen close. Just kidding. I would say love. I would say love. To learn to love. To learn to listen to yourself. And I think most importantly that that's an inside job. That's something that's in here. Before anything, like... That starts in here. The inner work, the listening to yourself, the honoring yourself. And that's why that's another thing that goes with the first question is like what energizes you. You have to make sure you're paying attention, you're listening to yourself. You're not doing that and you're constantly suppressing and ignoring what you truly want inside of yourself, then you know that's the just the road, the the road the miserableness and so I think that that's a really big part I think that people are not as in tune as they should be with themselves I feel like a lot of people are distracted I feel like creation creating is a big part of what life is about because what's inside of you you gotta listen you gotta listen to yourself don't leave yourself alone like down that's a place that's a that's a dark place to be so love and listening to yourself and creation and awareness and frequency and all those beautiful things i think that you have to learn learning is a big part of life love learning mistakes and mistakes if you don't make mistakes then it's like how are you learning how are you growing what you doing you know like be a machati can I get an autograph from you? Yeah. I could definitely print out a picture and sign it and uh, mail it out. But I would have to know what picture and I mean like, can you pay for the, for the mailing and the printing? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, sure, but it's cost you. What's your song about, the new song? I would assume that we're talking about Unapologetic Indigenous Queen. Shout out to Valerie and to Ryan. Valerie, what's up, Valerie? Do it up. Um, so that song had taken me just a little bit to make. I, I put it, I had it there. I sat with it for a while. I knew that it was going to be about women and power and stuff like that. Um... And one day I just sat down and I just really listened to it, really figured out where I needed to be. And I said, like, you got to do it. Just do it. What are you waiting for? And so I knew it was going to be about, like, empowerment and, and, and all that good stuff. Up and down, never left my crown. No won't give up Getting to them tough We've been down We never left our crowns And we won't give up 
get into them tough and you know, it was just like pretty. It was like so pretty. And I just said like, okay, yeah, that's it. And it was so effortless. It came to me. It just like came to me. And it's mainly about uplifting, being a woman, and knowing that when you get down, when you when you get knocked down, you know you get knocked down, and you know it's tough, and you know you're a queen, and you know you're a boss, and you know you know what it is. You gotta get up, and we ain't never left our crowns there on the ground when we fall. You know what I mean? Like we're strong. And then the the point of it is like through everything, through all the hardships, through all, everything that we've been through, we still get back up and we ain't never left our crowns on the ground. And we're getting very tough, like, we keep getting tougher and tougher through every experience, through every trial, through every tribulation. We get up and we're just like, we're getting too strong, we're getting too damn tough, you know what I mean? Like, and that's where that came from, is to just like, women empowerment, women need to stand together, women need to be empowering one another and making sure that we're there for one another because at the end of the day, we're sisters. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta stay connected. We gotta, we gotta make sure that we're not just trying to like knock each other down. Like that's not what the point in being a woman is about. It's like when you're a woman, you are of women. So that's mainly what that was about. Is just to embrace yourself and empower yourself and make sure that you know your worth and know that like. We gotta be there for, for one another, right? So that's mainly what that was about. And it was very beautiful and I was very blessed to be a part of it. And so, um, you're a true triple threat. How do you do it? Oh my God. Okay, so this question is, I love that question. It was like, it's almost like a compliment and I'm very, very flattered. Uh, I think that one of the main things in my experience in being an artist was that I didn't want to seek out outside people to do things for me. I'm the type of person that like, I don't want to wait around for people. I do things on my own time. I'm very like, I'm very free flowing. And when I'm coming, when it comes to my art, I take it very serious. I get into myself and that's why I'm saying I have to take the time what energizes me. It's like, it's me that energizes me. I gotta energize myself. I gotta energize my passion and my flow. And so I said to myself, like photography, I love to shoot. So I got, had to say, get myself a camera, learn what I need to learn, learn how to do, like I haven't, I see it inside my mind. And then I'm like, okay, I gotta do it. Like I, I see it before it happens and I'm visualizing it, I'm getting creative. And then I said to myself, like putting on shows, DJing, I want to be able to put on shows. I want to be able to DJ. I know how to do that now. I want to be able to sing. So I know how to sing. I want to be able to write. I know how to write. I want to be able to do sound design. And that's something that I'm definitely going to be putting my education into. My next steps is sound design. I'm super excited about that because it's something that really, really drives me. I'm very passionate about music and being able to create that and study it and 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 learn how to make that happen because I have my own sounds in my mind and I cannot wait to share that with you guys. Um, and videoing and, and all these kinds of things. Like these, they all are in the same realm of things. I wanted to learn how to do it. So I just figure it out. I, YouTube, you know, YouTube can teach you lots of things. So I, I just get it done. Think of an idea, buy my backdrop, buy my stage, buy my shit that I need. You know, I see it in my head. I'm like, I gotta get, I gotta get it. I gotta do it. Um, makeup. I practice, practice, practice. I practice makeup. I learned about it. I know good products. I've tried a lot of makeup. I, I know what works for me, what I prefer, um, contouring, everything, you know, like I, I learned how to do everything. It's, it's the thing. It's like, I don't want to have to learn. I don't want to have to wait for somebody to come in, like do it for me, do my hair, do this and that. I can do it myself. I can do my hair. I can do my makeup. I can style. I can put photographer edit I can sing I can record I can do like DJ I can, I can whatever it is that I want to do I'm gonna learn how to do it on my own and I ain't gonna wait for anybody to do it for me you know what I'm saying so I mean that's how I do it 
I wanted I wanted to be able to do it. I'll learn how to do it and then I just get it done. Um, so how to wear a bandana or a headscarf, please show me how in a direct message. I will probably do this in a video, so we'll wait and see how that goes. Um, another beautiful comment saying, I admire your work, your photos, and I'm very flattered because, I mean, it is my work and I put work into it. It's my vision into reality and no picturing. I am super, super blessed to be able to have an audience that appreciates my work and, and looks and, and watches. And, and I mean, how can I not be thankful for that? Because that's a beautiful thing. Like, that's wow. Like, I'm lucky. I'm, I have a lot of gratitude. Thank you so much for everything that supports my work, watches. You know, I really appreciate that. That's so beautiful to me. Like, I thank you. Uh, last question. Stuck on an island with one person, one thing to eat, one song, and one book. Um, stuck on an island with Robin, one thing to eat, pizza, meat, or veggies. Damn it, that was way too many. One too many. Um, one song. Oh my god. One song? Oh! <laughs> Oh my god. Um, that's a really good question. One song. I'm sorry I'm taking so long to answer this question because that's a really good one. One song. Do you know how many songs I know? Bro, do you know how many songs I know? <laughs> he didn't like tell me one song. God, you could hurt my head. Um, okay. I don't know, I probably have to be like a Bob Marley song to be honest. Real chill. Stuck on an island, Bob Marley, come on now. And it would probably be Buffalo soldier, who dread like Rasta. Na na na. Something like that. It's something like jammy, like that, you know, chill. Uh, one book would have to be The Book of Love and Creation. It's one of my favorite books. I like reading, I like poetry. Um, but The Book of Love and Creation by Bob Sieg, or Paul Siegel, actually. Yeah, that's a really good book. If you guys never heard of him, I mean, like, come on now, you gotta get on that level of frequencies and knowing your divinity and all of that. Oh, yeah, that's another, that's another thing for, like, the first question, around the first question was, like, what's the meaning of life? Being your divinity definitely is, like, a big key to what life and what the meaning is. And if you don't know what that is, then, I mean, like, Next video, I might be like getting into stuff like that, get like philosophical and shit. But thank you so much for watching um, my first Q and A video, my first like talk video. So I mean, like I hope you guys liked it. I enjoyed making it. I am excited to start making more vlogs and more like interacting like this. I will be putting another uh, Q and A uh, poll on Instagram. Instagram story in probably like a week. I am just so blessed. I am very happy that I have the platform to just do this kind of stuff because I mean like it's fun for me, you know, and maybe I'll start doing like makeup videos. I want to do lookbooks and stuff like that. So I mean, there's a lot of things that I'm working on, a lot of create creative things and then we got another body painting coming up here soon and I know that that was very success, success successful. <laughs> And I'm super excited to share it because I get to work with some amazing people. So thank you so much for watching and tuning in and tuning in. I hope you guys have a very good evening. Take care.